Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and in this video we will work on the setting the profile image. So you can see that we have uh, added this uh, image view there for the user profile picture. Okay, so this is an image view. When a user click on this image view, we will send the user to his mobile phone gallery. From there he will select uh, any picture he want and then we will uh, update the profile picture in the Firebase storage and Firebase database and then we will display that image here okay so let's do that so you can see we have this image view and we have uh, on our settings activity we have defined this image view in the previous video tutorials okay I hope you remember that and then we initialize this field I mean this image view in our initialize fields method and we call this initialize field method here in our own create view okay you can see this so we call that method here so now the next thing is when a user uh, click on this image view we can send the user to the to his mobile phone gallery so how we can do that inside our own create method what we're gonna do after here I mean we can say user profile image dot set click listener sorry on click listener set on click listener new on click listener so now here we can uh, write the code for sending the user to his mobile phone gallery that should select only the image files from his mobile phone so we can simply say intent gallery intent equals to new intent gallery intent dot set action and the action will be intent dot get dot action get con action underscore get and you can see this one okay action get content now we have to uh, define the type that is which type of files it will select from the user mobile phone so we can say uh, dot set type and put these two quotations i m a g e image slash and then the steric sign or you can say this multiplication sign then we can start the activity for result that will basically send the user to his mobile phone gallery start activity for result gallery intent comma and here we need to uh, define a variable of integer data type so let's come here and here we can say private static final int let's call this as gallery pick equals to one and now copy this variable and we can pass this here okay as a second parameter now let's run the app to see what happens basically so you can see that the app is running now successfully and now if I go to the settings activity and here you can see this is our profile image view okay so if I click on this image view then you can see that it sent me to uh, my mobile phone gallery okay so it will basically send the user to his mobile phone gallery and now from here whenever a user let's say uh, select any image if a user clicked on any image then we will get that image and by using the uh, crop image library we will uh, allow a user to crop that image so first let do that that is let's say if I click on that then I should get that image and then I will send the user to the image crop uh, activity where a user can crop that image too okay so for doing that what we're gonna do all we're gonna need is that is here after this we can simply uh, create another method which is on activity result sorry not this one on activity result this one okay on activity result and this method has the three parameters which is request code uh, result code request code and intent data now what this will do this will basically get the image okay I mean the result of that image so now what we're gonna do we are going to add the uh, image cropper uh, library to our this app so that once the user select that image we should allow the user uh, to crop that image also okay so we will use the uh, Arthur Hub image uh, Android image cropper library. Okay, this link will be available in the description down below. You can simply click on that and it will redirect you to here. 
so if you scroll down then you can see this uh, they give this uh, overview that how it will work okay so first of all all you're gonna need is uh, here you can see this uh, include library okay you can simply copy this uh, library or your, this dependency and go to the android studio and here we have this build.gradle module app double click on that and first of all let's add this library here and make sure to uh, change this compile remove this compile and replace this with implementation now you can sync so it is synced successfully now the next thing is to go to the android manifest file which is over this world okay manifest and android manifest and if we go here uh, to the uh, library then here you can see here it is written that is add permissions to manifest so you can copy this read and write permissions control c come here and here after this internet permission let's paste that here at the top and the next thing is this uh, add crop image activity into your android manifest okay so this is basically the activity for the image crop okay which is optional you can see you can read this comment here okay so we can copy this activity and now let's come here and we can pass that activity here so yeah that's it and now we are ready we are going to use that crop image library and allow the user to crop the image so first of all here we can say if request code becomes equals to gallery pick and result code equals to result okay which is this one okay and if the data is not null so we can say and data not equals to null that is the image the user must select the image first then here we can say uri let's call this as image uri equals to make sure to import this uh, uri class by pressing alt enter data dot get data then we can say crop image dot or instead of writing it if you go to the library then here we have this third step okay the comments are already here okay you can read that and you can simply copy this which is crop image activity set guidelines and dot start okay copy this and we can pass that here for the time saving okay and make sure to import this crop image view class so basically this will open the uh, crop image activity where a user can uh, crop the image now for that uh, if you want you can uh, add the aspect ratio that is one of one size or you can say a cover picture so we will uh, for the profile images normally we use the one of one size i mean from the x axis and from the y axis so here we can say dot set aspect ratio which is this one set aspect ratio one comma one okay and yeah that's it so the image the crop size uh, will be one of one and after that the next thing which we need is come here and here you can see we have this on activity result method okay so you can simply copy this if statement okay you can see this copy this if statement up to here control c and now go to the android studio and let's pass that here so first of all remove this if and else if okay and we have this request code equals to crop image dot crop image activity result code and the rest of this thing and now let's run the app to see what happens so you can see that the app is running now successfully and let's go to the settings activity let's select so i will select this image and here we go this is our crop image activity okay so what you can see is that this is the one of one size i mean the crop size you can also uh, expand and minimize just like that okay this will select the area you can select the area which you want to crop and also you can uh, flip the image okay you can see this flip vertical and flip or horizontal so in this way this whole thing will work okay which is the uh, Arthur hub library which we just added okay so you can now uh, crop the image also 
so yeah now the next thing is that is whenever the user click on this crop uh, option or you can say this button then it should crop that image and we should store this image inside the firebase storage and then in the firebase database so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video we will continue it from here that is we will get the cropped image from here and we will store that cropped image inside the firebase storage so yeah that's it for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now